And so a lot of people talk about getting into dealing with wholesale clients because consumers are a pain in the ass because they don't want to deal with consumers. They don't want to deal with customer service. They don't want to deal with having to explain things. And I want to talk a little bit about why that's kind of a bunch of crap. The first things first is that in the consumer market, you can charge more money. And the second thing is that it doesn't matter if you are dealing with a consumer, a small business, a small store, or a refurbishing center that has thousands and thousands of machines, you're always going to be dealing with idiots. And I want to talk a little bit about why this is important here when we go over this no backlight problem. So this is a no backlight problem that was sent in by another place. And one of the problems that I've been having is that they actually, they, they sometimes they plug in the shit that, that, that caused the board to die and then they send it back asking for warranty. And I'm courteous, so I'll do it, but that, that, that really doesn't need to end. So what I started doing is because I realized that you are going to say, you, it doesn't matter how burned or fucked up or destroyed something is, that you're going to plug it right back into that board, that what I need to do, because you, you can't see that with your eyes and realize that I shouldn't do that, is I take my Exolite 175M cutters and I just chop the cable right off. So we're going to go over the no backlight issue on this board over here, and I'm going to let you see under the microscope what's going on. So if you look at the LCD connector, it doesn't, all, it doesn't look that great. It works. It's, it's, going to do it, it's going to do the job, but it just doesn't look really nice. But this is, this is honestly, this is fine. This is really not worth the time to replace. And the other issue is that the fuse itself is blown. Now, I don't measure a short to ground, so I feel like I can just replace that fuse, and I'm good. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to replace the fuse, and after it at the end, I'm going to show you what we're talking about here with the, sil with, with the whole silliness. I'm going to take my hot air station. Remove all that nasty old lead free shit. Nice try. Surface tension puts it into place. Tap it down, and we're all good. So that's my new fuse. Now, at this point, if I plug in a new screen, I should be just fine. Do you have an air assembly out that I can test with? Thanks. I should plug theirs in.
Who is that? Now, as you can see, I fixed the board and it clearly works. We have an apple on the screen. Now, here's where the conflict comes into play. Here's where that whole thing of, uh, again, like dealing with repair shops being easier becomes a bunch of, uh, of BS. So what they said is this time, do not cut the cable. Do not cut the cable, they said, because I don't want you cutting the cable. I want to reuse that cable. So let's show you what that looks like. Okay, ready, ready for this LCD cable? What the fuck is wrong with you people? What, in, what makes you think that you could plug this shit back into a motherboard? Look at this. What makes you think that I'm not going to cut that cable and I'm going to send it back to you like that? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send this back to you exactly as is. And whether, if you want to replace this cable, that's great. If you want to plug this cable back into that motherboard, that's also great. But if you ever send this back to me again, I don't care for what reason. You could be, doesn't charge the battery. It could be you no know, CPU V core. It could be running slow. I don't care. I'm not warranting stuff like this when that's what you asked me to do. Because I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to take this little cable. You're going to plug it back in the board. A week from now, we're going to get a phone call saying, it's doing the same thing that it did before we paid you. And I'm not going to care. So don't be an idiot. Don't plug shit that looks like this back into the board. It will break it. It is bad. That is what causes your short to ground. That is why this is here. Why do you want to cause yourself extra hassle and make your customers' lives miserable and make your lives miserable and make your staff's lives miserable having to answer these phone calls from angry customers because you don't know how to replace a cable? Because you don't know that you're not supposed to plug burn stuff back into a motherboard. 